Both the chat. They use both hands. That's if you work it on your own. Use mainly for um, doors. When you've got heavy doors and such, you get lift them up on your pretty hands if you can. In this case, the same problem. Now, I know the finished board is on with, you don't need to do any parts for you. Um, on out of corners like this, I like to because um, I want to put a metal bead there. So make sure I've got a tape edge on both sides. Then I'll put a bead on it, a pine bead, and then just skim the corner. That's all, I'm going to skim the whole thing. Just skim the corner to feather in that bead. And it gives me that metal edge. Because this is going to be a very prone area for being down. The other corner was plasterboard commission. Now I use a coarse bead um, and I'll rough it up first. Need to insulate this bit and get that body up. Um, and that's it, much end of the hallway part of it.
Okay, that's the hallway. Last the worries. See what you need to do later on, though. I can't do a laptop with you. So I'll put in the lock that in, which I'm going to do just there. I'll do a video of that later on. A bit of one of these PVC ones. I'll reshape the joists and just insert it and then I can close that up. Get with it. Um, it'd be better here anyway. We've needed it more central all the time. Um, just for some reason when I built the house originally, I decided to put it there. I can't now think of why, but there you go. Fitting radiators, slide of bird living, so obviously it's a very simple process to me. I would just position it where I want it on the floor and then just mark the centre of them. That way I know exactly where I want it to be. That's where I want the brackets to sit. Because the brackets, they always sit right there, there, in the middle. So now I know that's where I want that bracket to be. How I want it at, at the moment is entirely up to me how I want. I want it to roughly end up about here. So what's the difference between that and that? Seven inches down around. I'm not going to be as firm that way it's there. I want it just roughly. The eye focuses that it's level. So I want that seven inches off the floor. So we take a measurement underneath of that to the radio there, bottom, which is 15 inches. I want to add 7 inches to it because I want to raise it up 7 inches. So we're at 22 inches. That bit there is what I'm aiming at. That wants to be 22 inches up off the floor. Get the video out of this way. Only mark one of these. Still mark two. You want to smooth that one for the second one. And we're going 22 inches. There. See, because this is 15 inches and added seven. Get your plate. That is where you want that part of it to be. And this you want to be on that notch. So, line it up like that. Again, we don't need to be bang on, perfect. Going to be there, going to be there. I'll come straight and put that one in first. Once I've got that one in, I'll spur it double across and put the next one on. Okay, now the next point. How do we pass it to what? Ordinarily? If the pan is stuck, great, that's always the best way. If we can't, we'll put a cavity fix in it. It's a plastic on wall that will pull off the wall quite easy if you don't need so much trouble. Even cavity wall fixings are not great. So I've got the lucky point that I've built back on this wall at the moment. So I'm going to use that to my advantage. By simply holding a stud on the back where I want it. Where do I want it? Good question. Well, it's easy. All you have to do is put the screws in first and take them back out again. Now I'm going to let all the piece of wood. Perfect, just there. It's a little bit cat handy if you remember. You know, at the end of the day, if you've got some bit of help here, that's even better. If not, you'll manage. Holes. 
mixed any of these two bottles then, you know, but anyway, blank. So again,
That'll look it. Yeah, two. Okay, that's two of them from that side. Now, two from this side. Which should be easier. Because they're just here. <laughs> Do you know, last year I had a bit of a problem with a wasp nest. Or bees. Probably mason bees. Under the house, they were coming through uh, a standard air brick. Um, so eventually I had to get um, rent the kill out to get rid of it. They spread some stuff in. That was it. All right, done, gone. You never really think about what is actually on the other side of this lot. You know, you visualise it's under the house. They've, they've like gone in, doorway, then they'll travel through, and then somewhere in the distance they will set up. A, a hive and um, make their nest there. Never to be seen again. No, it's dead, and that's it. Even the guy that was killing it says they'll pick up the um, killing spray stuff, whatever it is, is, the powder, and they'll carry it back to the hive, and that is what'll kill it. So I don't even think he fully understood where the hive was. But I've now just found it, and I'm glad it's dead. It's massive. I'll show you. This was the boiler cupboard. Luckily it was closed off at about that point there. And down here, when I cleaned it out, I found a few bees in here and thought nothing of it. But then when you lift up the floor, yeah, it's a double floor, so pretty protected, but hey. What about It's dead. I'm pleased to say it's dead. <sighs> okay, let's get on with the book. Never mind the infestation. <laughs> Then I'll come back and connect up when I've got both radiators. Oh.
Oh. First plastic paper. What will we do with it? Yeah. A lot of hard work. Yeah. 